one that can deliver you. Amen. Psalms 107 and 20 said the Lord God was, he, was a, he is your healer and he will deliver you. Yes, he will. You must understand, I told you that God is a deliverer. Yes. If he said that I will heal you, I will also deliver you. Yes, Amen. Deliverance is in the house today. Amen. Amen. Deliverance is in the house today. Whatever you're going through, the Lord God said, I am the answer. Yes, yes. I'm better than alka yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Amen. I'm better than a leaf. <laughs> Come on now. I'm the pain reliever. I'm burden bearer, a heavy load carrier. I'm the one that can sustain the weight. He said, I have come to shift those things off of you and put them onto me. Some of you need to get ready today because the Lord God said, you're not going to leave the same way that you came because help is in the house. Then come on now. What you thought that you were carrying, the Lord God says, I'm about to take all of that. Ooh, come on now. Somebody need to get ready for you. I'm telling you, I need somebody to start praying for you. Thank the Lord God. He said, I'm about to take all those yes, things that you thought Lord. that you were carrying. The Lord God said, I'm about to carry Thank for you. you Help is in the house today, people yes, of God. Yeah. God said, I come to set you free today. Amen. I come to remove that burden that you've been carrying because he said, I come to help you today. Wow. Yes. Thank you, Lord God. You're like, Lord, I, I have more problems than I have money. He said, trust me, I own the cattle. Oh. Amen. I own it. Amen. Some of you need to understand this. Stop, stop, stop putting God in a box. Amen. Stop putting God in the box. You yes, just stop and get him out the box tonight. Yes, God. God. Yes, I know I'm preaching to somebody in yes, here. Man. I'm preaching to somebody yes, in here. Man. Get God out of the box. The Lord God is your help. You're going through an emotional situation. Why don't you set yourself free today in the name of it? And let the Lord God help you. You're going through something in your mind and you're like, Lord God, if they're owning you, I'm fighting some thoughts right now. I'm ready to, I'm discouraged. I want to give up. I want to quit. The Lord God says, I'm coming to help you. Amen. Those of you who have been battling the spirit of discouragement. Mm. Ooh, battling the spirit of depression. Mm. Battling the spirit of oppression. Mm. The Lord God said, I'm here to help you. Yeah. I'm here to take that from you. But you must learn how to what? Cry out unto the Lord. You must learn to say, Lord God, here I am, Lord God. It is I, Lord. I come to you just as I am. Amen. I put all my faith, my hope, my trust in the Lord. Because I know that you are my helper. Yes. The Lord God says that he is undergirding you today. In the name of Jesus, he is undergirding you. Do you understand what that means, people of God? The Lord God said to all the hell that you've been through. The Lord God said, I am the one who's undergirding you. Yes. I am sustaining you in this house. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. He said all the stuff that's been weighing you down. Yes. I am your helper in the midst of trouble. Yes. I am the one who's helping you. I've sent the helper. He's called the comforter in the name of that he is there to comfort you. He is there to pull you through this thing. He is there to get you to the place where you desire to be in the name of Jesus. I come to serve the devil knowing that trouble will leave this house in the name of Jesus. You will no longer have a right to tamper with your mind and my mind, my money, my family, my marriage, my job. I'm going to serve him notice today. Get me behind me, Satan. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, because the Lord is my refuge and my help. Yeah. He's coming to help me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm, on I'm, I'm about to mount up with wings like yeah. you. Hey, I'm, on I'm about to mount up. Hey, I see some of you in the house today. You may be wondering, Lord God, I don't understand what's going on. I don't realize. I can't seem to figure it out. The Lord God says, Marjo, get ready because some of you are about to do this here. You know what? You're about to mount up. You ever said an eagle get ready? Get ready to mount. Because see, you was down and you needed some help. But the Lord God said, I will be the wind underneath your wings, Sister Tammy. I will be the wind that you need, Sister John. I will be the wind underneath your wing. You're like, wait a minute, Con. I have so much turbulence going on around me. He said, that wind in your storm is not meant to destroy you. It's there to pick you up. Soaring above the problem, soaring above the storm. That's one thing about God. He knows how to pick you up <laughs> above the storm in the name of Jesus. Some of you right now, when you're going to leave here tonight, you're going to be soaring. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Yes, you will. You see, first and foremost, cancel that negative spirit. Yes, you will. Cancel that negative spirit. You're like, Lord, how am I going to soar? You see, you're trying to think too much. You're trying to figure God out. You can't figure God out. You're, just going to you're like, well, I don't see myself. Well, you already lost your battle. You already lost it. 
You're trying to figure out, I'm not an ego. You know, you need to start thinking spiritual. Put your mind on the things that are above. Hallelujah. Understand that my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. That God will take care of me. God will do whatever he's got to do. You must understand, God said, I will move some things in order for you to be blessed. Come on up and hear Holy Ghost. I will move. They may have been some things that were in you. The Lord God said, I will strategically take that thing. Move it. And move it. Hey, in order for you to get what you need. Hey, Some just move for me. Thank you, Lord God. Father God, as I seal this word upon your sons and your daughters, lift up your hands for the blessing. The Lord God said, I'm about to give you some grace. Yes, yes. Grace to your home. Grace to your God, as the hands are extended up in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, as I'm praying a word, Lord God, that you would seal them. Protect them. Keep them, Lord God. That you are their helper. That, Lord God, no other help do they know. That, Lord God, you come through when everybody else turns away. Father God, I thank you for your word. That they understand that you are their helper. Lord God, they're recognizing the Holy Spirit. He is a gentleman. And he is there to comfort them. He is standing right there ready. Ready to to assist. Father God, as I seal this word upon them tonight, Lord, touch every heart, touch every child, touch every individual that's under my voice, that, Lord God, that the cry for help tonight will not go unheard. That, Lord God, because they made it here tonight, that help is already in the house. In the name of Jesus, we said amen. 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 amen.